Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a read-only channel within Discord. So this is great for a rules channel or an announcement channel where you want uh, only yourself or moderators or administrators of your Discord server to be able to post stuff. So in order to make a read-only channel within Discord, what you need to do is create the channel first, obviously, and you gotta have the permissions to do so. So you can't just make this in a server that you've joined or something of that nature. You have to be uh, the either the owner of the server or an administrator or a moderator who has the access to do this. So once you've created that channel, I've created a new text channel by going to create channel and then going to and selecting text channel and then giving it a name. And then I've named it rules. And you can see here it's underneath my text channels over here. And then I'm going to go and click the edit channel or the gear icon there. And then once here, I want to go down to where you see permissions underneath overview. Now, the first thing you're going to see here is it's going to say at everyone. It's going to let you know that anything you change here under settings is going to affect everyone uh, who doesn't have a specific or a designated role to do otherwise. So what you're going to want to do to make a read only channel is go here under text permissions and then go to send messages and then go ahead and select the red X. So there's three options here. There's one here that's neutral. There's one here that allows, and then there's one here that uh, disallows the messages from coming in on that specific channel. So go ahead and select the red X. That will make sure that not anyone uh, will be able to just come in there and uh, type and respond to anything that you put in there, uh, only designated roles for that specific channel. And then what you're gonna want to do is once you've made these changes, go ahead and click the green save changes button below there that will pop up automatically. And then once you're ready, go ahead and hop out out of that uh, back to the actual server now what you're going to want to do to allow folks to come in there like administrators and moderators to post things to the rules channel uh, or to the announcements channel is you're going to want to go up here to the actual server drop down click the down arrow and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to server settings and then under server settings here you'll see an option that says roles if you go to roles you'll be able to create a new role that will have access to that specific channel that we just created. So I already have an admin role, as you can see here. And in order for you to create one, you just go to the addition symbol here by role. And then you can see where it says new role and then give that role a name. You can give that name a color if you want them to show up as a specific color within the Discord. And then the last thing that you want to do is general permissions. If you want them to be an administrator, you can go ahead and check this box here. It will give them administrator privileges in this channel. Uh, and then go ahead and click save changes. And then once you've done that, hop back over to our read only channel within the server and then go ahead and click the gear icon once more. And then under permissions here now, you can see that you have roles members above at everyone. Click the addition symbol there above that. Go ahead and select the admin role that you just created and that will allow the admin to have permission to send messages by you clicking the green check mark as opposed to the red X as we did previously. Now if we go to save changes, you can see now that only the admin individuals within the server will be able to post within these read only channels within our Discord server. If you have any questions about how to do this or anything within Discord, please put that in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get to them as quickly as possible. If this video helped you out, don't forget to help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more great tech tutorials just like this. See you guys in the next video.